The NFL is loaded full of talent, absolute beasts with athletic ability who never fail to impress us. But with the number of talented players in the NFL, and even on the college level, do you guys think we get to see everyone's full potential? No. And while that's tragic, there are some lucky occasions on which unlikely players take opportunities and rise to the stardom they deserve. Let's get right into it. First up, the Eagles face off against the Giants in the 2022 playoffs. We were all looking forward to week 14 of the playoffs. And boy, was it an exciting one. We don't know about you guys, but one game that especially blew us out of the water was the Eagles facing off against the Giants. It was going to be electric, no matter what, and you best believe the fans turned up. The stadium was literally at 99% capacity. Imagine the atmosphere. The Eagles fans in attendance, though, soon had to deal with some unfortunate events. Yeah, we're talking about the CPAW injury. The team's regular punt Aaron suffered an injury at the worst time, and yeah, it wasn't looking good for them. At this point, we were expecting that unless some hidden gem in their lineup was able to step up, the Giants were going to run away with the victory. Luckily for them, that's exactly what happened when Britton Covey stepped up and pretty much saved the day for his team. He was the hero of the day, and maybe even the rest of the playoffs. See, if the man didn't step up and perform well in this game alongside the replacement punter, Elliot, the Eagles would have been in a tough spot. They would have had to replace Cepos in less than a week as they headed for Chicago to play the Bears at Soldier Field. Following up, Covey the backup holder saves the day. We won't lie guys, things were looking bleak for the Eagles, and all the Philly fans felt their hearts drop as Cepos was taken off the field. Yeah, the Giants were going to take this one, but that's not what happened. The small guys of the Philadelphia Eagles put on a gigantic display of skill and heart. That's right, we're talking about Elliott and Covey. Now, he is a small guy, and we're not exaggerating. The man is very generously listed on the roster as 5 feet 8 inches and 173 pounds, which seems even smaller when you look at some of the giants on the field next to him. But hey, you can't put a physical limit on the spirit, and he stepped up for his team and showed that he wasn't any less than any other man on the squad. We might have not known, but hey, the team's coaches were perfectly calm as Cepos was removed from the game. They knew that they had it under control. Covey was one of the guys insisting to take the punter's spot, and that alone is impressive in such a high-risk playoff game. The position was ultimately given to Elliott, sure, but they still needed a holder to fill in. You guessed it, guys. That spot went to the star of the game. And let us tell you, he didn't disappoint. With his exceptional play, not only did the team survive the absence of Cepos, they thrived and won a huge 48-22 win against the Giants. Next up, Britton Covey, the jack of all trades. Now, as we said guys, this guy is small for sure, but he's got heart. And sure, physical advantages decide a lot in contact sports, but a lot of the time, guys with skill and exceptional spirit go far, even when we don't think they should. We've already seen the backup holder display his skill, and even at the college level, he was great as a punt returner. But did you guys know, this man also plays as a receiver? Yeah, this one's an all-rounder. He talked about it before, about how he wants to be that player that the coaches can have complete confidence in any position. Honestly, what a mindset. This explains why everyone on the squad was so calm as CPOS went out. In fact, Covey has comments about situations like that too. He said that even though people had questions, his teammates didn't because they'd seen him in training. Considering the number of positions this guy can play effortlessly, no wonder he's being called a jack of all trades. With his success as an injury replacement, you might be thinking about whether there were any other hidden talents in the NFL that had come forward through injury replacements. Well, we've got news for you, because some of the greatest NFL players ever actually rose to fame after they were brought on as substitutes for injured players. Let's take a look. First up, Mike Anderson. The Broncos have had many legends play for them, and in the 1999 season, one such legend was Terrell Davis. Yeah. He was amazing, and fans everywhere were heartbroken when he had to end the 1999 season with an injury. And these weren't any small-time injuries either, guys. The man tore both his ACL and MCL. Yeah, ouch. Clearly, they needed a replacement for the 1999 season, and that was Olandis Gary. We gotta say, the guy played well. Anyway, in the 2000 season, both Gary and Davis were on the squad, but the team was declining, and Terrell's ankle got injured. But that's not what eventually 
open the doors for Anderson. Our man Mike got a chance to start for the team when Olandis tore his ACL. And let us tell you guys, no one expected this 27 year old sixth round rookie to do much. Well, he shocked everyone and he had an amazing season. The man ended the 2000 season with 1,487 rushing yards. Yeah, that's a lot. And to top it off, he had 15 touchdowns and was even named Offensive Rookie of the Year. He led the 13-3 Broncos after 2005, and even though he didn't have the most flashy career, he played as a regular for eight whole seasons. Next up, Tom Brady. No one who's a sports fan can say they haven't heard of TB12. Brady is in that league of universal sports legends everyone knows about, like Messi, Jordan, and Federer. You might not be a soccer fan or know anything about tennis, but these legends have done so much for the sport that you've heard of them for sure. He is on that same level, so you might be surprised to find out that he was originally an injury replacement. Before he was Tom Terrific, our man was a sixth round draft pick in the NFL. Yeah, not what you'd expect, right? Well, that's how it started for the NFL GOAT. He got his start when the Patriots go-to guy, Bloodsoe, got demolished from a hit from Mo Lewis. The man was injured severely, and he needed a replacement. That replacement was Tom Brady. The guy was so impressive that the Patriots played him as a starter, and he's been playing for 20 seasons. That's a lot, guys. Talk about longevity. It doesn't seem like he's ever going away, and it all started as an injury replacement. It's crazy to think about how a sixth round draft pick, a backup player, was destined to be the greatest of all time. Coming up, Todd Christensen. This guy was a college fullback and didn't end up landing with the Cowboys or the Giants. Instead, he ended up with the Raiders, where Derek Ramsey was leading the team in receiving in 1981. Tragedy struck though, as the team lead got injured. Yeah, it's bad when your star receiver is out with an injury, especially during the playoffs. Luckily for us football fans and the team, Christensen stepped up and put on an incredible show. The rookie was so good, they played him for the next five seasons. He became the go-to catcher for the Raiders, and he was so effective in the position, he even led the NFL in catches in 1983 and 86. We know, that's no small achievement. If you thought that was good, wait till you hear about what else he managed to do. That's right, the man led the team to the Super Bowl, and they won. We're not complaining, guys. He deserved that ring. Next up, Victor Cruz. This is a big one, guys. Cruz is the one that did those amazing salsa routines in the end zone. We'll bet that even if you didn't know his name, you remember those celebrations. All right, so it all started for this NFLer when the New York Giants were in a tough spot in 2011. Their go-to guy, Steve Smith, made a free agency exit. You can probably guess how that created some problems for the team. His departure left a huge void in their lineup, and the man next in line, Dominic Hickson, tore his ACL at the worst possible time. Yup, the Giants were desperately in need of a replacement. This is where Cruz came in. The man stepped up and played for the team in maybe the most surprising season we've ever seen. The guy posted 1,536 yards and 9 touchdowns. That's amazing for anyone. But guess what? This is where it gets crazy. The man was a free agent. No one knew who he was, and he managed to lead the Giants to a Super Bowl victory. Unsurprisingly, the guy got signed for 5 years in a $43 million deal. We love to see a talented guy making bank. Unfortunately, he got downed by a nasty knee injury in 2014, but the guy cemented his legacy with the way he came up. Finally, we have Rich Gannon. Alright, so this man spent most of his prime years as a reserve, backup player, and with his prime years behind him, you'd expect the guy to lose ambition, right? Well, Gannon was built different, and he wasn't gonna let any opportunities pass him by. The Chiefs Elvis Grabeck got injured, and the 32-year-old stepped up, and we mean he really did step up. The man led the Chiefs to the AFC's number one seed through some amazing performances. We were all left scratching our heads though when the team reinstated Gerback as their starter, and we were wondering what had happened to the very talented Gannon. Well, don't worry guys, our man got snagged by the Raiders who signed a $16 million deal for four years of play from him. And boy, did he make those four years count. He won the MVP at 37 and took the team to the Super Bowl. Yeah, this man was probably the best quarterback they had in the last 40 years. That's a wrap for this one, guys. Did we miss any of your favorite injury replacement players? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.